everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-July readings for all zodiac signs. We are going to do the sign of Libra. Keep in mind, they are a general reading, so take what applies, kick to the curb the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You rock! Love ya! And if anyone is interested in a private reading with me, all the info is in the box below. So... Let's see what's going on with Libras. Wow. Maybe we get some uh, pretty big players here. Oof. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck. You've got the Six of Swords. The Moving Away to Kama Waters card. Leaving one situation for a better situation. So let's see how that applies here. We're going to start off with Major Arcana here. And one of my favorites. Leaves, you got the Fool. Number one in the deck. Well, number zero. He's the beginning of the beginning. Number one would be the Magician. But this is taking a leap of faith. Taking a risk. The fool goes on his adventure, light-hearted, carefree. Doesn't worry about anything until he gets there. The whole fun in the adventure is getting there. And what's crossing you is another major arcana and another fave of mine. The High Priestess. This is somebody who is guided by their intuition. They trust it. She knows secrets. Did she tell everybody? No. But never underestimate the High Priestess. She knows a lot more than what she says. So Libra, is your intuition calling you to the open road? <laughs> Are you feeling like you have to leave a situation? Your gut's telling you that? Or your heart? Wow. Now, in your foundation, you have another heavy hitter. The Empress. Queen of all queens. Could it mean pregnancy? Sure. But more so, she is what I call the female alchemist. She can birth anything into the here and now. So if you're thinking of creating a project, if you're thinking of maybe starting your own business, Anything like that. She brings it into the here and now. She brings it into this realm. She's a very nurturing, very kind person. And she's the only queen of all queens that has a shield. She's divinely led and she's divinely protected. Wow. So three right here in a row, Libra. That's crazy. Crazy good. <laughs> Now, what's crowning the whole reading, Leaves, is the Five of Pentacles. And this is the card of feeling outcasted, shunned, put to the side. Sometimes it means poverty, being alienated. Libra, is that why the open road is calling you? Because you feel like, you know, an outcast? In a situation, maybe a job, a career you're pursuing just came to my head. Whatever it is, leaves whatever ship it is, and I mean relationship, career ship, love ship, friendship. Those are my ships. You, won't, you don't want to get on ship. You, you want to hit the road. And you want something new. And you want something fresh. Is what I'm getting from this. Hmm. Now, Libra. In your recent past, you have the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles is being recognized for, fine, for all the fine skills, qualities, and crafts that you have. Whether you work with a cooperation of people. Just gonna get that hair out of my face there. A cooperation of people. 
or you get recognized just being solo of all the fine skills, qualities, and crafts that you have. Seems to me that if you were recognized for all these skills and stuff and now you're feeling outcasted, you want to move away from something, maybe something wasn't what it was cracked up to be. All the glitters was not gold. Hmm. So, going into your future, Leaves, you have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is defending yourself, but you being on higher ground. It's like you can back up everything that you're saying. Can the other ones? You're also protecting your own feelings by having your wand against your chest there. No matter what these other wands do, they're not going to get to your heart. Hell no, Libra. Now, how people see you in your environment. They see you as the Eight of Cups. Now, at one point, all those cups were full. Stacked very nicely. They all came crumbling down. And they're empty. And this guy has tasted from every single one of those cups, but it's just not cutting it for him. And he wants to leave. Now, Libra, you have the sailing away. Like I say, get on a ship or get off a love ship, career ship, friendship. And you want, people are looking at you like you are not satisfied. Maybe you took on, you know, a different job or career, you took that path off. Because somebody said, yeah, you know, this is the right person for the job. And now you got it and you're like, dang. This ain't what I bargained for. This ain't what I signed up for. And people seem like they are against you and shutting you out. You didn't ask for that either. Hmm. Now, Libra, in your environment, you've got the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups, Cups being the water suit, kids are Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who takes on those qualities. But more so, he's a messenger. He's a messenger of something sentimental, something heartfelt. Whether that comes, you know, from any of the ships. But you're going to get something that, you know, it's going to be meaningful. You know, whoever says this to you. It will be sincere. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, here's the other heavy hitter. The Emperor. Now look. It doesn't get any higher than these two. Libra. The Emperor, it could be determined as an Aries or a Taurus. doesn't have to be. Somebody with these qualities. Somebody with these characteristics. He's all about structure. He's about stability. He's about firm foundations. Solid, good foundations. He draws that line in the sand. Nobody crosses that because that's where respect is earned and given. He's usually depicted as an older person. So I know who's been there, done that, can show you a few things. But he's in a hope, fear position. Now, Leibs, if this was to be a career sense, which is I'm getting drawn closer to, okay, then you want a, you know, a situation that has more structure, something you could, that's concrete, that you can believe in. If this is matters of the heart, and you're feeling that it's, it's time to go, because you, you want something, you're hoping. In each way, you would hope, not a fear. You would hope for something that is more sturdy, something that has great foundation to it, something more you believe in. Again, concrete. Either way this goes, 
Libra. Whether you're feeling shut out from a job, a ship, that's going to change for you. Change is in the air, Libs. Because you are going to get an offer. And I feel that it's going to come in last minute. Like to save the day. Because your outcome card, Libra, you have the Knight of Swords. Here's your air element. Your Libra, you, Gemini, and Aquarius. And he's the fastest knight out of all of them. He comes in swift. See the light on his sword? It's his truth. And he comes in guns blazing, so to speak, or sword swinging. But he comes in with a, a communication, you know, a clarity, a truth, real quick. So Libra, it's, what just entered my mind was someone's going to set you straight. Whether that is to make you stay, say something sentimental, offer something sentimental, more structure, more stability. You know, something that's going to make you feel, you know, vibrant and lighthearted again. Something's going to come in. It's going to be a game changer. And I do feel that this info is going to come at the last minute. It might change your decision to whether you stay or go. So, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I will see everyone back here real soon. Take care.